Now you guys know I have previously reviewed for them a couple of times before, probably at this point, plenty of times. <laughs> so I will link everything down below for you guys so that you guys could see the previous videos. But anyways, if you guys do not know, Friday Night Hair, they provide synthetic wigs and they are styled differently. All of them have a different style to them. And this one right here, I believe, is GLS 205. If not, it's GLS 216. I'm not sure, you guys, but I will put the direct link down below. I just have them mixed up right now. But this one right here, I feel like it had potential. At first, I was like, okay, no. But the only reason I felt like I got it really voluminous is because I saw how the waves were and I just have like an eye for things. <laughs> so I was like, okay, so if I spray some squirts on it and make it super voluminous, then I feel like it would look better. I also went and took it a step further and layered, did a little layers in the front for myself because I don't like the straight voluminous thing. Like I feel like it needs to be layered and fluffed and played with and things like that. And just like the whole messy look, like that's my look. So I also had to plug the hairline, you guys, because I felt like it wasn't given how I needed to give. So I did plug the hairline. And the only thing I feel like is irking my nerves with this wig is how the hairs don't stay. Like I need to use better products or something <laughs> because I just feel like it's not staying. And I don't understand. Like I had baby hairs here and those aren't staying, so I'm just a little confused why it keeps moving, but I think it's because I haven't cut it. So if I didn't cut it, it's not gonna stay. I feel like this wig is not a wig where you're gonna get this whole look like this. Try out the packaging, definitely not. You're gonna definitely have to work with it. So I'm here to let you guys know that this is definitely not a hair tutorial video. You guys, I feel like I've done so many hair tutorial videos with Friday Night Hair to where you guys should definitely get the point. So this time I laid low on that. I feel like it's the same process every time. You just kind of have to work with it and go with the flow of things and just make sure you take your time with it and have patience with it so that it could come out well. But what I do want to let you guys know is that I kind of did struggle with it. Um... I did, and I think it's just because I didn't pick this wig unit. They just sent it over. I feel like if I was to pick a wig, it probably would not have been this one because I have an eye for things. However, I don't think that this is a bad wig at all, you guys. It's just something that you have to play with. This is not something that you're going to get the look straight out of the packaging. Again, I feel like I just got this because I cut layers right here in the front, and then I just used my spray to basically give it some volume because it definitely needs volume i feel like to look really good however you guys could definitely look at other youtubers and see how they style their wig but this is what i came up for mine because i know sometimes it could look different you guys think that it looks different but it's all in other people's technique everybody doesn't have the same technique you get what i mean everybody doesn't have the same face structure everybody doesn't look the same so sometimes always are not going to look the exact same as it looks on somebody else. So, and, and that's just me, that's what I think. But I mean, that's just what I think. So I am gonna go ahead and show you guys a little bit of footage of me basically unpackaging the wig unit and putting it on my head and things like that. And yeah.
I want to go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit more about the wig unit. First of all, I want to let you guys know that they just sent this wig over to me. I usually pick my own wig units, <laughs> but this time they just sent it over. I feel like if I was to choose my own wigs, it probably would not be this one. But, I mean, I work with it anyways. But anyways, this wig is a newly constructed wig. I know you guys may have known if you purchased from them before, but some of their wig units have hard lace. Now, I don't mind the hard lace, but I guess it's better to have softer lace because it is 2020 and it's easier to apply and stick if you're wanting to use spray or if you're wanting to use glue um also i want to talk to you guys about the construction of the wig so in the inside it is a little bit more breathable you guys and it also has an additional additional adjustable strap along with um it has hooks in the inside as well so you can make this fit your head however you please um, also, for the styling of this wig, now I'm just playing around with it at this point. I'm just trying to apply it and pull out the curls because with all my Friday night wig units, I always pull out the curls. So, um, I don't know how I was feeling. I feel like I had a hard time with this wig unit for some reason, which is why you guys are not getting the hair tutorial. Um, I had to come off camera and basically style my hair because I just had to work with it a little bit more for it to, you know, just frame my face and things like that. So basically, I'm just trying to play with the hair and get it to look good. And I was just like over it and I just turned the camera off and went to my bathroom and did my hair. But this hair is voluminous. I saw that it was voluminous. So all I really did for my look, you guys um was pretty much get my spritz and you guys can find that in my amazon store if you guys want to purchase it i use that to apply my wig and i also use it for volume now the only thing is once you spray this wig with hair spritz it is going to become tangly because it's spritz and it's also synthetic hair so if you do that your hair is not going to last as much and it's also going to dry out the hair um meaning that your hair won't appear so shiny now that can be a good thing because sometimes synthetic wigs can come overly 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 shiny um but i'm just letting you guys know once you spray this your hair is going to become tangly so you might get maybe one or two wears out of it so just keep that in mind and also it also kind of turns your hair white a little bit like it has white flakes sometimes just depends on how much product you're using but um other than that you guys i am going to just go ahead and show you guys the final product which you guys have already seen um the final style in the beginning of the video but anyways here we are